Hi, my name is Dr. Reza Houston, and if you're watching this, you are likely in my Principles of Finance class in the summer of 2020. Now, in this class, we're going to be covering the basics of finance. I'm going to try and give you as much of a background of finance or a good covering of finance as I can in about a semester, or in this case, oh, about five weeks. Now, before I get into what we're going to be covering, I think it's important that you know a little bit about myself. So this is the end of my second year at Ball State University. I'm an assistant professor of finance. Prior to coming to Ball State, I was an assistant professor of finance at Indiana State University. And prior to that, I got my PhD in finance at the University of Missouri and my MBA prior to that. And uh, even earlier than that, I was a property and casualty actuary. All right, now if you need to get a hold of me, there are several ways to do it. You can call me. I have my phone number listed there. I'll have that on me, well, pretty much 24 7. So if you are in a pinch and you need to talk or ask me a question and get an answer very quickly, please feel free to use that number. Uh, now, I also have my email. I'll always be, my. I'll try to be as responsive as possible. Generally, my rule is I, I I make a concerted effort to respond as soon as I get a message or see a message, uh, but I'll, I'll almost always respond within 24 hours. All right, now uh, we will have a class website that's our, just our Canvas website, and I'll be posting all of my lecture videos to YouTube. So if you can't log into Canvas for whatever reason, you can always still find my lecture videos, and I'll link those directly to our Canvas course, which we'll walk through uh, with you in a second. All right, so what are we going to be covering? Well, like I said, we're going to cram as much finance as we can into one semester. Uh, now, I'm going to cover essentially all the most important parts of finance, so capital budgeting, uh, calculating the cost of capital, how to manage assets. How uh, So in other words, how do we manage uh, primarily liquid assets, but also how do we uh, manage our long-term assets? Uh, we'll also talk about dividends, repurchases. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about just basic uh, investments even later in the course. All right, now, we're going to use a variety of materials throughout this course. The two big tools that you'll need to essentially make it through will be Excel and a BA2 calculator. Uh, now, Excel we'll use primarily when we get to something called the time value of money. That'll be pretty early in the class. Uh, now, time value of money is arguably the most important concept in all of finance, and it using Excel makes it much easier for you guys to understand. So that's, that's why I'm going to be using Excel as well as showing you how to work the problems via your BA2 calculator. All right, now we have a couple of objectives in this course. Uh, the big ones are going to be uh, showing you how to invest, how companies borrow or lend. Uh, we're also going to be talking about uh, tangible assets versus intangible assets. We'll talk about the effects of financing and investment decisions on the overall value of a firm. And then we'll also talk about market conditions and why they're so important. And we'll, we'll go through and I'll give you a good background on how we actually analyze firms. Now, we have a couple of other tools that we'll need for this class. Now, the textbook that is listed at the campus bookstore is Corporate Finance, the sixth edition by Besley and Brigham. However, if you want to get an earlier edition or even an international edition of this court of this textbook, please feel free to do so. I will not ask you to get an access code. That's pretty important. Uh, it means you can just go ahead and buy a used copy of the book. So hopefully that should save you some money. Uh, now, all of our questions, all of our quizzes, all of our tests are going to be taken via Canvas. So I write my own questions. I, I won't ever ask you to get an, uh, a code or go to a publisher's website. That's, quite frankly, I think just lazy. All right, now, I strongly, however, recommend that you purchase a hard copy text of uh, a hard copy version of the book as opposed to an online version of the book. 
the reason being that, well, heck, it's easier for you to make notes. And I think that's, that's very important. Uh, now, I've mentioned Excel. I've mentioned the BA2 Plus calculator. Uh, just as a side note, the BA2 Plus is the calculator that is most often used in professional exams in finance. So if you're thinking of taking the CFA exam or maybe even uh, oh, some other exam like uh, an actuarial exam, this is going to be the calculator that is most commonly used on those exams. It's our most basic, most uh, prominent financial calculator. Uh, you will be using a lot of the specialized functions that come with that calculator on your exam. So I, I cannot stress strongly enough that is, it is important for you to have a BA2+. They cost about eh, somewhere between $25 and $35 uh, on Amazon or at your local Walmart. Now, there are a couple other resources. Uh, one resource that I would actually recommend that you take advantage of in this class is a copy of the Financial Times. It's essentially the international competitor to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, the only difference between the two, or the big one between Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal is that the Financial Times, in my opinion, does a better job of covering international material. So it covers what's going on in the wider world to, in my personal opinion, uh, uh, a greater degree than, uh, than the Wall Street Journal does. Uh, all right. Now, Canvas. This is your most important resource. So I'll be posting every single tool, every single lecture, every single assignment in Canvas. You'll be able to find those lectures or those assignments or the quizzes or the exams all via your modules tab or maybe one of the other tabs. I, I usually try to put absolutely everything in the modules tab, even if it's in another tab as well. So let me walk you through our Canvas website. All right, so here we are on our Canvas website, and we have a, I'm currently on the home page, but you get the same thing if you go to the modules page. So you can see that we have our lecture videos right here. So for chapter one, I have three videos that are, that cover the material, as well as the PowerPoint slides that I've put together. Uh, now, as we're going forward, I'll post the quizzes, or I'll link the quizzes for each chapter in right below the PowerPoint slides. So uh, for chapter one, you'll see, let's say, not just the videos, not just the PowerPoint slide, but the quiz. And then I'll be asking you to upload your notes for each chapter. So I'll put the upload right below that in the modules tab, but you can also go to the assignments tab to uh, upload that. So all of our material should be able to be found in the modules tab. All right, now in terms of class policies and procedures, uh, essentially, I mean, quite frankly, just be professional. I mean, obviously, I I would like you to, if you have questions, ask them. Uh, I, I do think it is important because this is an online course to keep the course structure fairly regimented. Uh, and what I mean by that is because most of the work is, realistically, all of the work that you're going to be completing is online, uh, basically, I'm going to be budgeting about three to four days for each individual chapter. So for each chapter, you will have a due date for some items. So your chapter quiz, uh, uploading your chapter notes, and watching the video. And then after every five chapters, you'll be able to take the, uh, the exam that covers those five chapters. Uh, I, I do want to emphasize that uh, timeliness is key, and I, I want to put it out there right away that I, I will not accept late assignments uh, for the reason that after every assignment is, due date arrives, I'm going to make all of those 
assignment, uh, well, all of the answers publicly available. So I just want to make that make you aware of that immediately. Make sure that you complete your quizzes and your exams and upload your notes on time. Uh, if you have any special uh, disabilities, please let me know. I'm willing to work with that, obviously. So, you know, just you know, give me a heads up uh, so that I can better uh, serve you. Let's see, I already mentioned the 24-hour uh, deadline. So basically, if I, I get a, an email from you, I'll, as soon as I get it, if I can respond immediately, I will, but you will, I mean, I'm hard pressed to think of an example where you wouldn't get a response from me within 24 hours. Next, uh, if you are having difficulty with the course material, please reach out. I am available all summer and I, uh, I'm happy to meet with you via Zoom or over the phone. Or even if you're near campus, I mean, I I currently live in Fishers, and so I'm I'm in the Indy area, and I will probably be up in Muncie a couple of times this summer. So if you even want to meet in person, that's fine. Uh, just let me know. Uh, now, in terms of academic integrity, I think this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, just basically, don't cheat. Uh, don't try and get answers from your friends. Uh, I do write my own questions, so I mean, there's not really a need for you to even try to Google answers for quizzes or exams. Uh, I, I want to take that that uh, possibility out of your hands so that you're not tempted to do that. All right, next uh, diversity statement. Uh, I guess you know you have concerns about diversity or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, I obviously want to be an equal opportunity faculty member. Uh, now, I think that's all I have to say without discussing the graded material. So let's get into the graded material. Uh, so as I go down here, we have really three items that you're going to be responsible for. Uh, in this class, we'll cover 15 chapters of our textbook. We won't cover the final chapter, chapter 16, uh, but for each chapter, you're going to be asked to complete uh, an end of the chapter quiz, and those quizzes will represent 40% of your grade. We'll have three exams, each one, like I said, covering five chapters, so those will represent, well, 39%, eh, 40% of your grade. And then lastly, I'll be asking you to complete chapter notes for 10 of those chapters. Uh, now let's start off with the quizzes. So the quizzes will be due at the end of a specific period of time. Basically, I'm going to have, I'm going to give you about four days for each chapter. And by the end of that period at 11.59 p.m., you're going to be responsible for completing that quiz. Now, if you are worried about that quiz, I, I should put your mind at ease. These quizzes are open book, open note. My goal here is to make sure that you're understanding the material. So if you're not doing good on these quizzes, I encourage you to reach out. Uh, you will have three attempts to take each quiz, and I'll, I'll record your highest grade for each of those three attempts. Next, the chapter notes. Uh, so the reason I'm going to ask you to upload your chapter notes is really twofold. First, it incentivizes you to watch the videos and go through the PowerPoint slide. Uh, I mean, if you're having to write your write up your chapter notes and send them to me, you know, hopefully you have the incentive to sit through the lectures. Uh, that's good for you, that's good for me, because then I, I don't have to feel bad when you don't do as well on the quizzes or exams as I was hoping you would do. Uh, but also, it should reinforce the material to some degree. I mean, once it comes time to study for the exams, you'll have those those chapter notes in your hand. So that's, that's pretty valuable. Uh, so I'll have a due date that you'll see here in a second uh, in our schedule. 
finally, we have exams. Uh, again, we have three of them, and they all cover five chapters. And there'll be 40 questions each. Now, the exams are going to be taken via the lockdown browser. And I'll, I'll send you out more material as we get closer to the first exam. But essentially, for those exams, you're going to have to provide an ID, a photo ID, as well as uh, you'll need to make sure that there's, there's no one else around in the room. You'll also need to make sure that your computer has a webcam and a microphone, uh, just because uh, that's, that's the requirement now for, for uh, the lockdown browser. Uh, you'll be taking it via, well, I, I should say, while you take the exam, your webcam will be on. So uh, essentially, there will be a video recording of you taking that exam just to make sure you know you're you're doing what you should be doing. Uh, you don't have any materials that you shouldn't be having on your desk. You don't have a friend next to you. It is actually you taking the exam, etc. All right, I will give you a mock exam that won't be for points, just to make sure that you uh, you can test out your technology and get a sense of what the exams are going to be like. And I suppose that's it in terms of the, the material. Now, down here at the bottom of our syllabus, I have a tentative schedule. So for chapter one, here's what you have to do. Uh, you need to read the chapter, watch the three videos that you saw when I went to Canvas, uh, write down your chapter notes, preferably as you're watching the video just to make it easier for you, and then take the first quiz. You need to complete all of that by June 19th. Uh, so if you try to take the quiz on June 20th, sorry, kind of out of luck then. Uh, but uh, just keep in mind that I'm going to hold to this schedule unless there is some massive uh, issue in the class. So just, just make sure that you are keeping on top of all of the activities that you have to complete. I will be sending out regular announcements, regular emails, just to make sure that you're engaged, make sure that anyone who has questions is asking them of me. Uh, but I suppose that's that's all I have. We have the dates for the exams here as well. But that's pretty much it. Now, uh, one final point. Down here at the bottom of our syllabus, we have a sense of what you're what we're going to be covering in the in each chapter. So you want a sense of what each chapter is going to break down to or what the goal of our coverage is. There it is. All right, so I suppose that's that. Now, the final thing I'll say is regarding office hours. So office hours are a little tricky, and I know I said I'd be willing to meet just about any time via, say, Zoom or cell phone or or uh, even meeting in person, but I just want to reiterate that and say, if you need to contact me, if you have questions about anything in the course, please reach out. I promise you I will make every attempt to answer every single question that you have. If you get to a couple of weeks into the chapter, or into the course and you find that you're struggling or you don't understand the material, please, I encourage you to set up a regular meeting with me just to make sure that we get you to where you need to be. All right, well, I suppose I've said all I need to say. And if you do have questions, please send out an email to me. And if not, I look forward to having you in the class. Thank you.